we had to put our horse foxy down. Oh, this video's too hard. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. So as most of you know, we had to put our horse Foxy down. So that was yesterday and as you can tell, there's been not a lot of sleeping and a lot of crying. So it... it was a really hard day. So, but it actually ended up being pretty peaceful. Like we got to spend, I woke up in the morning and I saw like over the night, I didn't sleep the night before and I just saw a storm coming and it was snowing and snowing and I just thought oh, like it was calling for like freezing rain and snow and I didn't want her last day to be so miserable like I wanted her to be able to enjoy outside and I was hoping for no snow so she could just spend her day munching on grass but that wasn't to be so they had hay out there and we brought her lots of treats throughout the day, spent lots of time with her. The girls went to school in the morning and then we picked them up to come home. Oh gosh. We picked them up to come home and spend some time with her before the vet came. I'm not sure which one of you it was, I can't remember, but someone gave us the best idea and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts because they said when they put their horse down, they gave their horse a, like a bunch of hay and grain and like they had their last moments just like mouthful of hay and food and just so happy and so I remembered that and that's exactly what we did with Foxy. We gave her a whole bag of carrots right before and she had apples. Each of the other horses got a carrot, but she had the whole rest of that bag all to herself. And she was loving it. Like she was like drooling. Oh, she was eating those carrots so fast. And then when the vet came, we brought a big bowl of hay down with us and a big bowl of grain. And she just sat there happily munching. Kate, Scott, and I stayed there for it. Julia went up to the house with my mom because we didn't want her seeing that and she didn't want to be there for that either so the vet was so wonderful and so caring and like really walked us through and she was so respectful we're bawling our eyes out we were crying and she was, they were both just like wonderful. And she had us there with her just, oh, this video's too hard. <laughs> she had us with her just telling her how much we loved her and that she was a good girl. We were going to miss her. And she had like a mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> can't even get through this. She had a mouthful of green and she was just so happy and she just like wasn't coming up for air. She was eating all that green and even as the sedative was taking effect and she was starting to fall asleep she was still trying to get the green so she died with the people that love her surrounding her and with a big mouth of green and I mean what better way can you ask so we did it in a beautiful spot that it was right under the pine trees and peaceful for her and it was as nice as it can be I guess so the one thing I kind of regret is that we didn't bring the animals down after just to see because they're looking for her bears really 
Bear loved her, and so he's having... Get through this okay so bear last night came into her stall and he was just like lying down there so duke was looking for her and kate was giving him hay and he got out and he came running over to her stall so it's an adjustment so we all miss her they're doing really good today they're not calling for her or anything like i think they know so i'm just gonna share some clips of our afternoon with her and she loves pinning her ears at Duke and chasing him off. <laughs> so she was doing that. She's like doing all her favorite things yesterday. Favorite foods, hanging out with us, and chasing Duke off and pinning her ears. So it was a really great day for her. <laughs> Spending our, our last hour with Foxy, eh? Boys are fighting like usual. Foxy's been in our ears like usual at them. They're not really fighting, they're just bugging each other. And boys. Carrots. They're like Foxy has carrots. Hey, I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known you would and a whole bag for you. As many as you want. I still see when we climbed up in those trees, twelve years old, feel the wind, watch the river run. Would always shine when we sat there, you and I. The river's gonna cry when you're. When you go get her a big thing of green and hay. Okay. All the good stuff. All oh, Foxy's favorite things right now carrots and apples and hay. Mommy? Yeah. Look at all the drool. <laughs> hey, hey, breathe. There's a snowy apple. They all know not to go to get too close to the bottle. Oh. It's like her favorite thing is pinning her ears Beating up other at the horses. other horses. Just to remind them who's boss. Look at all that slobber. Not feeling good. Having a hard time walking, but she's got enough energy to pin her ears and try and chase Duke. Look, she's like... Oh, where did Duke go? I just want to pin my ears at him one last time. In fairness, Duke is bugging her today. Duke is, <laughs> Duke really is annoying all the horses today. He just wants to hold on to their blankets. And he wants to hold on to my coat. He just wants to hold something in his mouth and he likes to walk around with it. 
So he likes to grab but their blanket at the but bum. If you get him a toy, it's not the same. It needs to be attached to something. Yeah, he doesn't want a toy or anything. Yeah, that's true. He just really likes hanging on to because I've tried giving him a blanket like a little baby of a horse or something to hold on to, but no, it has to be attached to something living. And it's not like he's trying to bite. He just wants no. To pull. Yeah, he's he's not doing anything. He just wants to gently hold it in his mouth and walk around like that. And the not horses are like, around. leave he's me alone. They're looking for where the other carrots are. Hey, I know there's a whole bag here. It, it might fall out. Just, oh, no, don't look. It's packing snow today, so the snow keeps getting caught in their hooves. So we have to keep picking it out. It turned out to be a nice day, though, because it was calling for really bad storms. And I was really worried about that. It's cold out here, but it's... Oh, he has. But it, it's been a nice sunny day today. You're like a ghost in my mind. I can't escape you. I need to believe it was right Letting you go Cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here the way apart I'm seeing your face in my dreams I can't escape you Like a movie on repeat The scenes just go on I'm hearing your voice in my dreams I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here the we're apart Don't tell me it's over Tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over Cause every song just reminds me Of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Every song just from